What's up, fam? It's your boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network, and this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor, in case you didn't know, that's icydk.blog. Make sure you check them out on all mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Before we get started, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss one video. Let's go. And we're going to get it cranked off with your girl, Carisha. I say, Carisha, please. Now, as we all know, Carisha, a.k.a. Young Miami, from the City Girls. We know she has now uh, three different gigs. She is Young Miami from the City Girls. She has her talk show, Carisha, please. So she's a, you know, also a YouTube personality, social media personality, rapper. And now you, she added actress lately to her resume. Uh, you saw her in the movie. Uh, I forgot the name of that Lauren London movie she was in. I think she was also on Blackish, and now she was recently casted on the TV show BMF. So BMF, she was she played Deanna, which was a drug dealer's girlfriend, and she is getting flamed on social media for her, you know, for her appearance on BMF. Everyone was saying it was like the worst acting job they've ever seen. She had to do a scene, uh, you know which is quite difficult for for a new actress. She had to do a scene where she was told by uh, Meech, the main uh, character in uh, BMF, that her husband had pretty much got killed out at the club. It was a shootout out at the club. She had to do a crying scene and, you know, basically react to them telling her. And it didn't come off very well. I, I myself said it immediately as I saw it. I was like, that was not a good scene for her. However, she still knew. She still trying to find her way. And the people to be dragging her, saying she's just as bad an actor as rapper. She needs to just give up everything. You know, that's just not a nice thing to say. You know, give this sister a chance. She's just starting. She's trying to span her rising by just not being a rapper. And it's like, I'm just tired of our people always tearing our people down. We're the first ones to do it. But as soon as someone who isn't black does it, we say, oh, 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 you're racist towards black women. So it's like it's always that selective outrage that black women, it's okay for black women and black men to tear black women down. But as soon as somebody non-black does it, all of a sudden, oh, it's racist. Oh, he's against black women. So Carisha, before I give her a chance, like I always said, Lala was not a great actress. She's still not a great actress, but Lala was bad when she first started. Now she's decent. All right? She's not bad. Before, she was bad. Now, you know, she is, you know, okay. She's almost average. She's still not great, but she has gotten better. So people need to allow Carisha some time to get better and stop always wanting to drag somebody. I mean, Carisha's a millionaire, and she has to deal with people saying, oh, she can't rap. Oh, she's a terrible rapper. I mean, every single time she steps up, you know, and, and tries to expand her horizon, you know, what are you doing? That's such, ask yourself, is she in a better position than you? That I really don't think people should be laughing and dragging people who's in a better position than they are. Give her a chance. Moving on to the Kardashians, and people are asking me, Heaven, are the Kardashians' time finally over? Is Hollywood finally finished with the Kardashians? The reason why they're asking this is because it's been a rumor, it's rumored that the Kardashians have not been invited and will not be invited to this year's Met Gala. Now, last year they tried a little something different, and they did not get a lot of good free feedback from it. There was a lot of influencers invited to the Met Gala. And, you know, that is supposed to, and some of the elites that usually go, you know, word is they got pretty offended. They did not like the fact that here are these influencers, these, these microwave millionaires are now in the same space as them. And, you know, they just popped on the scene last year. So a lot of the, um, Veterans were complaining about these microwave millionaires being there with them. That was saying, 
Kim Kardashian is not a microwave millionaire. Kim Kardashian is still, among, every single year, among the top five women Googled or top five women searched on the internet. So now we know Anna Winters has never really had a great relationship with the Kardashians. She's always thought, you know, she's the one said, oh, you know, um, I'll never put a reality star on the cover. Kim Kardashian will never see the cover of Vogue. That was until, I guess, Kanye West spoke to her. And, you know, people have also said, you know, people in Hollywood also said they'll never give a reality star or Hollywood walk of fame. They're saying that Kim will never get star on Hollywood Walk of Fame, which is very, you know, contradictive because you're giving her all this money and you're giving her all this fame, but then you're going to say, yeah, we're going to give her all this money and fame and exposure, but no, she can't, she's not a real star, so she can't get a star on Hollywood Walk of Fame, which I think is BS. Um, we'll have to wait and see the Kardashians that not made a comment, but I'm going to tell you one thing, if they do not have the Kardashians going this year, it's not going to be as exciting because a lot of people tune in just to see the Kardashians. Some because they're fans of them and some because they want to try to hate on them. So, you know, watching the Met Gala without any Kardashians or Jenner, from what I'm hearing, is is you know, alarming. And my question to that is, until are they done? Everybody's run has to end. They've had a run of, what, 12 years, really? You know, them and Drake, like, had a run. They never really had a dry spell. But I would like to see somebody comment on them not getting the invite. I would love Anna Winter to come out and explain why she's not giving them an invite if she hasn't. You know, don't hide behind media and press. Come to the forefront and tell everybody why you did not give them an invite. So let me know your thoughts in below down the comments down below. And finally, Megan the Stallion is back. So the end of the month, Megan the Stallion will be headlining. And this is going to be for, I believe, the um, the final four in Houston. I know she's doing a show. This show is going to be in Houston. So Megan the Stallion is back. Let me read this article. Uh, she says here on, on headlining the AT&T block party in Houston, Texas, she says, there's no place I'd rather be for my first performance of the year than my hometown of Houston. I'm looking forward to seeing my hotties and putting on an unforgettable show for them. Now, Megan Thee Stallion, of course, um, is a great performer. She's a great performer. She's up there with, with the hip-hop performers. She's up there. She might be number one. She might be number one. Doja Cat, of course, is very good, but I do not consider Doja Cat a rapper. So I'm I'm taking from Megan Thee Stallion, like in all of the female rappers out there. To me, her performance is the best. She puts on a top-notch performance. Her work ethic is crazy. She's dancing. She's twerking. She's rapping. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's moving. She's engaging. She's flirting. I mean, so... Megan Thee Stallion puts on a great show. So I'm definitely interested in seeing her back in Houston. You know, um, now that, especially now that it looks like Carl Crawford has said he wants to make good with Megan. I still believe you will hear Megan make a comment about it was never anything personal against Carl. You know, it was, never, you know, it was just a fact of she just wanted to renegotiate her contract. She appreciates what Carl does. Watch, it's coming. She appreciates what Carl has done for her. And, um, you know, she'll give that thanks uh, when the time comes. I, You know, I, trust me, it's coming. And your boy, Drizzy Drake, will close it out. You know you are really him when people from the generation before you say you're the GOAT. You know, recently we had Michael B. Uh, Michael B. Jordan years ago, but we know he's from this generation. But Jim Jones was asked what he thought about Drake, and listen to what Jim Jones had to say. Very interesting. Leave your comments down below if you agree with Jim Jones. Let me know what you think down below. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood for the IE Network. Where does Drake stand in hip hop history? I would say he's the greatest of all time. 
the relevancy that he keeps showing year after year, hit after hit, record after record, any record that he has put out has seemed to go multiple platinum. Like that's never has happened before in this history. I mean, there's other few other people that do astronomical numbers like that, but he really in it. Like, you know what I mean? From all angles of music. It ain't no place you can't go that they not gonna play some Drake records to get the party started. He move around here like the real Bruce Wayne. Like his, he's my spirit animal, man. I just gotta give credit where credit is due and not taking away from nobody else. Like what Jay has done to this game is astronomical. Like you dig, like he's like the Michael Jordan space in this game for what he has put on and what he has done since he's came in the game and where he's at right now. But it would have definitely been like Drake or Weezy. Or Tupac. But just recognizing like how you just pointed out with Drake, it's just like some things are yeah, it's undeniable. Like, it's These kids don't know no J records. That's they okay. not quoting no J records. You heard? They're quoting all Drake shit.